Good afternoon, everybody. I want to welcome you to the City of Champions, the City of Brockton. My name is Robert Sullivan, and I'm the, uh, the mayor of the City of Brockton, and I want to thank you for being here today. I want to especially thank May Lang, the mother of Marvelous Marvin Hagler, for being here today. Thank you very much, May. I also want to thank Mr. Todd Copeland and his family from Copeland Toyota for being here today. We're here today to, uh, to give a, a, an update, a uh, status update relative to a wonderful event happening on Sunday at Marciano Stadium, Brockton High School. It's honoring marvelous Marvin Hagler. Again, as we know, Governor Baker, Lieutenant Governor Polito designated it marvelous Marvin Hagler Day in the Commonwealth, which would have been the 67th birthday of the champ. So before we get into some of the logistics and statistics and some of the information, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to ask May to please come up here and join me again. You're making me nervous. No, no, <laughs> this is good. This is an official mayoral citation from the city of Brockton. Be it known that the mayor of Brockton hereby extends its congratulations to Ms. May Lang in recognition of your dedication, commitment, and support of our city of champions. You exemplify the essence of a true Brocktonian. Thank you for all that you do. Therefore, it gives me great pleasure to present the citations you may as a symbol of our appreciation. It's duly by, signed by myself, Robert F. Sullivan, Mayor of the City of Brockton, this 20th day of May, 2021. Thank you. Thank you. Almost make it. <laughs> No, you can, by all means. Oh, I just want to thank you, Mayor, and the City of Brockton, and for all that you're doing. And, you know, even though I'm nervous, I, I'm overjoyed that my son has such a memory, a uh, good memory left, you know, that, he can, that I can share with everybody, not just one person, but everybody, because he loved people, and he loved kids, and he loved me. <laughs> thank you. We have a few other people here that I'll recognize in just a bit, but Todd Copeland, uh, his, his family has had a business in the City of Champions for decades. And uh, they have just been so generous to our city and to our community. And once Todd and his family heard about uh, the family's plans, working with the city, uh, he stepped up as he, he always does. Uh, and he has donated a very sizable donation to help uh, pay for uh, a portion, a significant portion of the events on Sunday. So again, I just want to thank you, Todd, as being the lead sponsor for Sunday's event. You've always been a great partner with the City of Champions. Your generosity today uh, is making the event happen, come to fruition. So again, I wanted to give you a citation as well, Todd. Mr. Todd Copeland. Mr. Todd Copeland and Copeland Toyota, in recognition of your generous donation to assist funding Marvelous Marvin Hagler Day, a historic celebration of the life and legacy of a true Brockton and boxing champion. Therefore, it gives me great pleasure to present the citation to you, Todd, and your family as a symbol of our appreciation, signed today, 20th day of May, 2021. Thank you. Thanks, Todd. Thank you. Thanks. 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 It's an honor to he be here uh, with the mayor and May Lang. And um, I actually... Uh, I was 18 years old, went to the, the super fight. So I've been a, a marvelous Marvin Hagler fan forever. And I uh, just met his mother, it was a thrill. She's got big hands, that's what <laughs> she gave him down to, to Marvin. But, but he is a true, uh, a true champion and he kind of epitomizes the city and the, the great workforce that I have being here in Brockton. And he, he never gave up, the guy never got knocked down. And he never backed down either. And that's, you know, and, and everything that's going on in this world, that kind of epitomizes the city of Brockton. And again, I can't wait till Sunday. Uh, my whole family is going to be there with me. And uh, thank you, Mayor. And thank you again, May. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are the witnesses, right? He's official. He's signing it. There we go. All right. Thank you very much. Again, a $15,000 donation is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thank you. 
I also have a few other thanks I'd like to make at this time. I want to thank Lyft uh, and, 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 you know, what they're doing to help us right now. Uh, they're providing discounted rides to the stadium on Sunday. You use the code HAGLERDAY and you get $10 off rides to and from the stadium. When I want to thank the representatives from Lyft. Thank you. I also want to thank Bertucci's for providing uh, refreshments and pizza to the Hagler family and friends on Sunday as well. Just really generous. So let me just get to some of the uh, some of the lineup. We have really some wonderful, wonderful stars and celebrities coming here. Uh, we welcome them with open arms to the City of Champions. Uh, they're here uh, not just because of Marvin Hagler, but what Marvin represents: hard work, determination, never back down, fight, fight, fight. And I will say he did, he did beat Sugar Ray that day. There's no doubt about that. So thank you for showing me that ticket. Um, but let me just say a couple things. Uh, Stephen A. Smith of ESPN will be here. Former world boxing champion Bernard Hopkins will be here. Showtime boxing legend Al Bernstein. Channel 5's own Mike Lynch will be here. Boxing writer and historian Ron Borges will be here. And now this is fresh off the presses. Vinny Pazienza will be here great world boxing champ from our neighboring community of Providence, Rhode Island. Irish Mickey Ward will be here, another great champion from Lowell. Some of you may remember Mickey in the story of the Acad Academy Award winning The Fighter, which starred Mark Wahlberg uh, as Mickey himself. We really received incredible celebrity testimonials and videos that everyone is just going to be awestruck on Sunday. It's awesome, and we are really thankful for the people that participated. We have some new videos, and I can let you know right now, Vito Antifermo, uh, who lost an epic fight to Marvin at the old Boston Garden, and legendary trainer Freddie Roach, uh, who trained uh, Manny uh, Pacquiao, uh, will be also having some videos as well. So we're going to have a lot of personal thoughts uh, in terms of uh, interactions with Marvelous Marvin Hagler. I can tell you, as a kid that grew up here in the city of Brockton, Marvin was everything. He was an animal in the ring. He epitomized what City of Champions is, is all about, hard work, determination. Uh, I remember I shared it with his mom just a little while ago when I uh, played basketball here. I played basketball in the city of Brockton with uh, Junior, uh, Marvin Junior, and I remember the champ getting on the bus to go to the old Boston Garden to a Globetrotters game with all of us. And everyone was like, oh my God, there's the champ. He was the nicest guy, spent time talking to us, you know. He did have big hands, you're right about that as well. But I just want to say that when we think about Marvelous Marvin Hagler, we can think about his grit and his determination, but it starts with his mom right here. She is the sweetest woman. And, and again, on Sunday, we are all going to recognize his wonderful exploits in the ring and what a champion he truly was. We also are joined right now by a champion uh, and a, an elected official, State Rep Kip Gibbs from the Cape. Uh, Kip is the first uh, African-American representative for the District of Bonstable down on the Cape, but he was a heck of a fighter professional uh, welterweight boxer and he held the uh, IBO and North American boxing welterweight title so uh, so representative thank you and welcome to the city of champions thank you good afternoon what an honor to be here with you all Marvin Hagler was just the epitome of hard work dedication loyal um, I didn't know Marvin Hagler as a fighter. Um, I know he would come down, and my good friend Casey Sherman was able to see him up there in P-Town, um, but I was never able to get up there to, to see him train. But somehow I became a boxer, and uh, I was in, uh, I, I fought for the New England title, Team New England versus Team Ireland, and uh, it was on Nesson, and uh, I beat the guy, and that weekend, we, my family and I decided to go to uh, Maine, sorry, to New Hampshire for the weekend. And uh, we said, well, let's go to Sunday River, but that's, that's in Maine. Okay, let's go to Maine. So we went to Maine, and uh, I go into the, sp the place and get my skis and all that. Who walks in but Marvin Hagler. I said, hey, champ. And next thing you know, he sees me, he's like, I said, my name is Kip Diggs, New England, amateur. You just got done fighting. What are you doing here? Uh, uh, I'm skiing like you. Where are you. Yeah, but I'm retired. You're not. All it takes is one broken leg. I haven't skied since, and I don't think I ever will. <laughs> but that's how Marvin was. He was so dependable, so loyal to his friends, his family, and dedicated. I mean, looking at his body, you know, I watched YouTube and, and seeing how cut up he was. And I, I know running with his boots on and, and, and on the cape on, uh, on the beach, 
was just he was so dedicated and determined to be the best. And you know something? This place of Brockton, city of champions, what do I got to say? Nothing else. I mean, football teams. I mean, there's so much championship here. I'm honored to be here, and, and thank you for having me. So there's a few more logistics I just want to go over if I could right now. Again, the event is going to be at Brockton High School, and if you haven't visited Brockton High, which is the largest public high school east of the Mississippi, you're in for a treat. Uh, when you come in, you'll see uh, Marciano Stadium. You'll see the uh, largest uh, statue in North America, which depicts Rocky Marciano on the grounds. You'll see Armin Colombo, legendary high school football coach. The stadium is Marciano. The football field is the Colombo field. And then the Harry Allen track. Uh, the gates are going to open up, the doors are going to open up at 1 p.m. The event's going to start at 2 o'clock. Uh, we are abiding by all protocols. I want to thank the Board of Health. We are going to have uh, just a wonderful uh, event that day. Uh, we're going to have, I'm not going to surprise, I'm not going to spoil some of the surprises, but we're going to have just some wonderful treats right there. Um, I am also going to just let you know that um, we uh, are very thankful that Brockton Public Schools and Superintendent Mike Thomas is accommodating as well. Uh, it's going to be a hot day. So we're going to make sure that uh, we, uh, we have anything uh, in terms of ambulance service. God forbid we ever needed that. We're going to have a cooling station there. Everything that we need to have, we're going to have there. And again, I welcome each and every one of you. Uh, being Irish, I have to wear my sunscreen, so I'm strongly urging people to wear sunscreen. We're going to be giving out waters as well. Um, and again, food trucks is going to be outside located for guests to purchase food and drinks, located right on the grounds. Uh, if you do come, uh, feel free to park, uh, free parking at Brockton High. You can come in from Belmont Street, which is Route 123, or the Forest Ave entrance, two different entrances to get into Brockton High. And again, uh, the gates are going to be open up at the statue if anybody wants to get their picture taken there. Uh, I just want to again thank May and the Hagler family. I want to thank Todd Copeland and his family. I want to thank Brockton Public Schools. But I want to thank Brockton. Brockton is a community. You know, we've gone through a lot with COVID. As I sit here right now, 433 people have perished because of that deadly virus, over 14,000 cases. So Sunday is going to be uh, a new day in Brockton. We're going to be able to come together finally as a community, and we welcome people to the city that aren't familiar with the city, but we are going to honor marvelous Marvin Hagler, the champ. And again, I want to thank you all, and if there's any questions, uh, I'm happy to answer it. Absolutely, absolutely we are. And uh, at, at an appropriate time, it, it will be addressed. Uh, without question, uh, we have uh, uh, a common purpose to honor marvelous Marvin Hagler in the city of Brockton. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, where he trained, the Petrinelli Brothers Gym, uh, 28 Petronelli is being converted now uh, to both residential and to housing. It's located in a, in a really part of the city of Brockton right now is, that's uh, seeing a catalyst for development there. So uh, marvelous will never be forgotten in the city of Brockton, and I make a promise. Okay, they just want me to tell the story, what, why Marvin wanted to be a boxer and who, who encouraged him, which was Floyd Pedersen. You know, on Saturdays, we used to, years ago in Newark, New Jersey, you get on the corner and they would hold this little bitty television and everybody would gather around and watch it, watch the fights. And he looked at me, he was about 10, he said, Ma, he said, one day, I'm gonna be just like him. I'm gonna be famous, I'm gonna be a good fighter. I said, mm-hmm. And, he's, <laughs> and then he repeated it, and he meant that. And so when he got older and got into it, he was determined. So when we roasted Marvin one year, we uh, got Floyd Pedersen to come up after we told him the story. And Marvin was shocked because uh, that was all surprise to him. He didn't know anything that was about that. All he knew, he was doing something to help raise money to help the kids go to camp. So that's what that was about, you know. And then the other thing uh, he told me one day, he said, you know what, so what? One day, I'm gonna make you so proud of me. 
And I say, you know what, I'm proud of you now. He said, no, Ma, one day I'm going to make you so proud of me. And he kept that promise, you know. And uh, it was another story y'all, somebody wanted me to tell. I forgot, what was that one? That one you did, and was it you? Which, you, went to, you went to every fight but one. Oh, yeah. All of his fights, people asked me, did I go? Yes, I only missed one fight. That's when he first started out. And that was at Washington State when he uh, had his first fight, you know. And um, so I was always there, always trying to encourage him. The family always stood behind him. And, um, you know, he never let us forget it. He was, he was always thankful. He was an humble person. And now you got me stirred up. So I just want to thank you all. For, it's an honor to stand here and hear all these wonderful things about a child that you birthed, you know. I also want to say that um, Rockin' Robbie Sims was a champion in his own right, Rob, Bro, Marvin's brother. And, and I can tell you right now, Roberto Duran lost two fights, one to Marvelous Marvin Hagel and one to Robbie Sims. And we can never forget that. Just a great, great guy himself. And we hope to see Robbie on Sunday as well. So again, I want to just thank you all for being here. I encourage anybody that's watching this, come to the city of Brockton to honor Marvis Marvin Hagler. Gates open at 1. We'll see you at 2 o'clock on Sunday. It's going to be great weather. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you.